Ladies and gentlemen, hello and you are watching TTV News some latest events in the province. And now we come to details. Ladies and gentlemen, in the morning of September 28, Mr. Nguyen Thanh Ngoc, Deputy Secretary of the Bronzo Party Committee, Chairman of the Bronzo People Committee, had a meeting with Ms. Emily Florence Hamlin, Consul General of the United Kingdom in Ho Chi Minh City, to reading. In the meeting, Mr. Nguyen Thanh Ngoc, Chairman of the Bronzo People Committee, expressed his delight at the visit of delegation from the UK Consulate General to strengthen and promote the cooperative relationship between Vietnam and the United Kingdom in general, as well as between locality on both sides in particular. Tainan, according to the chairman of the Bronzo People Committee, is promoting investment attraction and becoming an desirable investment destination in the country. Currently, the province has the industrial power operating attracting 385 foreign investment projects from 27 countries and territories. With a total investment capital of more than 9 billion USD, including 9 projects from the UK investor, with a total investment capital of 725 million USD, primarily in the garment, textile, and supporting industry. Roman is a leader of a UK investor for not only effective reduction in business, but also for contributing to the efficient implementation of social security policy. According to the chairman of the Bronzo People Committee, the province will welcome more European investors, including UK investors, in the coming year to learn and seek investment opportunities. Ms. Emily Florence Hamlin, Consul General of the United Kingdom in Ho Chi Minh City, thanked the Bronzo leader for their warm welcome and practical information. According to the Concern General, 2023 is a significant year because it marks the 50th anniversary of the Vietnam and the United Kingdom establishing diplomatic relations. Based on recent success, Ms. Concern General believes that this quality relationship will be strengthened in all areas in the coming year. She also hopes that, as a result of this trip, the two sides will be able to invite more investors to Tainan for investment cooperation. On September 28, the Department of Basic Information, Ministry of Information and Communication chair and coordinated with the Department of Information and Communication, Zeptanen Province, to organize a training conference for the team of various information workers in the three provinces, Zeptanen, Binh Phuc and Binh Dương, to propagate and deploy the National Development Strategy Digital Economy and Digital Society. Mr. Hoa Minh Phuc, Deputy Director of the Department of Basic Information, Ministry of Information and Communication, and Chairman of the Organizing Committee attended the conference. At the conference, delegates heard from experts in the digital economy and digital society, as well as journalists, about four topics, the position, role, and importance of the national strategy for economic development in the digital age in Vietnam, editing news and articles on commune and district radio stations, as well as reading radio broadcasts, editing news and articles on district and commune level electronic information page, editing news and articles on social networks and public electronic bulletin boards. Speaking at the conference, Mr. Huang Minh Phuong, Deputy Director of the Ministry of Information and Communications Department of Basic Information, stated that digital economic development and digital society are economic activities that use digital technology and data to increase labor productivity, innovate business models, and optimize economic structure. German Top Party Committee organized a meeting of the Top Party Executive Committee on September 28 to evaluate the economic, cultural, social, defense, security situation, and party building working the first nine months of the year and to deploy Kitas in the last three months of 2023. Mr. Phạm Hồng Thái, Permanent Deputy Secretary of the Bronzo Party Committee, head of the Tenen Bronzo National Assembly Delegation. Mr. Yo Yeyum, Provincial Party Committee member, Secretary of the Top Party Committee, chaired the conference. The economy continued to recover and grow in the first nine months of 2023, with the economy expected to reach more than 27,900 billion Vietnam dollars, an increase of 9.43% over the same period last year. 
the total budget revenue is estimated to be 220 billion 844 million Vietnam dong. The capital contraction investment disbursement is estimated to be 170 billion 158 million Vietnam dong, representing nearly 76% of the Azai capital plan. The national target program to build new rural areas has yielded positive results, with four per four communes missing new rural standard as of today. Speaking at the conference, Mr. Phan Hong Thai, permanent deputy secretary of the Brussels Party Committee, head of the Brussels National Assembly delegation, report that in the remaining months of 2023, the town needs to focus on exploiting all revenue source and so completion of the year budget collection tasks. Continue to roll more administrative reform, improve the spirit and attitude of serving the people, roll more leadership, role in implementing policy to support the development of high-tech agriculture. Toward the National Day of Fire Prevention and Fighting on October 4, on September 27, the Fire Prevention and Rescue Police Department, Robinson Police, coordinated with an vocational college to organize the Golden Bell Ringing Contest, the legal knowledge about fire prevention and fighting in 2023. There were 52 contestants who participated in the contest to learn the meaning of National Fire Prevention Fighting Day, compete in questions and learn about the regulations in the law on fire prevention and fighting and other relevant legal regulations, understand how to escape when a fire or explosion occurs, understand how to use fire fighting equipment, mobilize on such fire fighting forces, to promptly extinguish fires and limit damage to the families and surrounding households' life, health, and property. After readily eliminating contestants who answer incorrectly, the organizing committee chose the contestant who answered the most questions correctly to award prizes according to the form of ringing the golden bell. The Medicine and People's Health Care World is good at the next session, the 10 term People's Culture of the Nine Province. The province will continue to maintain and develop public service units in the fields of preventive medicine, testing, forensic medicine, medical assessment, and medical examination training, according to the approved plan. The Nine Province Public Health System will include five Ronso Hospital, Nine District Tower and City Health Center, and 94 Common World and Tower Health Station by 2030, a trade investment to control vaccination center, rapid special hospital, high quality service area at medical center, and regional polyclinic in some industrial park, a break the provincial police hospital. The Nen Provincial Youth Union collaborated with the management board of Youth Entrepreneurship Village in Nindin Kamil Jothan District from September 27 to 29 to open a training class to foster entrepreneurship knowledge, start a business, and support consumption of agricultural products for young people in villages, disadvantaged, and remote areas by 2023. Master Nguyễn Hoàng Dũng, economic expert, trained on four topics during the training session, general knowledge of entrepreneurship, establishing and developing businesses, general knowledge of digital transformation and digital economy, developing distribution and consumption channels for your startup products. Ladies and gentlemen, in addition to the typical traditional rituals of Gaudai religion studies, the procession of the Buddha mother and the Nine Goddess and the four supernatural creatures dance, each year followers of Gaudai religion inside and outside the province display the products, sophisticated, lightly objects made from fruit. Especially this year, the item on display also in low equality, elaborate, and unique flowers packets. Every year, the brands of Tennant City have always considered arranging flower and serving fruit to display in the Royal Festival of Holy Pancake for Ray Mother and the Nine Goddesses as an indispensable task. Unlike previous year, this year the brands made more flower packets. 
Most of the material used to make the flower bucket were coconut leaves and breast flower. This is also a unique and new idea created by Miss Ngobrup and her friends. The flower bucket are carefully, meticulously eye-catching and attract viewers. I made a flower display to offer offerings to the holy banquets for rich mother and the night goddesses. This year in my art committee, with my brothers, family, children, and fellow believers come to help. Our flower display team does it differently every year. Usually we make flower baskets with only sparkling flowers, but this year we choose coconut leaf to create flower baskets to create a more unique and with the herb that its flowers symbolize different with the studies, pony chrysanthemum is a symbol of choice, happiness, full of energy and vitality. Coconut flowers rainbow city energy, good luck and health. Displaying these flowers is like having a passion to be able to arrange them. Ordinary, ordinary people will find it difficult to arrange them because there are times when arranging flowers like this requires staying up all night, letting yourself think like this. So see if the flowers are uniform or not, harmonious or not, with the flower bakers for the banquet. I say that you work very hard and stay up all night to make it perfect. It's so hard, but everyone is happy, meticulous, care for each step, meticulous in decoration, so that the flower brackets look at catching when displayed at the Holy See banquets for Red Mother and the Night Goddess. This is the joy and happiness of Gauda followers inside and outside the province when they can contribute their effort to the overall success of the Brave Festival. The audience outside has long been regarded as a cultural symbol of the Vietnamese people. This lovely symbol of national cultures has also been chosen for religious custom by Kadai religions, the country and the China's religion. And on every religious holiday, today the full moon day of January and the A lunar month, many believers from all over the country gather at the Holy See to worship white religious custom are now an essential choice for religious people, not only for expressing their belief, but also for being discreet, solemn, and the distinguished feature of Gaudai religions. Everyone at Ms. Nguyen Thị Lam Linh's Government Factory in Bonang Museum Dao District is hard at work on these days. Her workshop is equipped with an automatic fabric cutting machine, which not only improves the precision of her work, but also saves raw materials. She also uses up steam iron to make the finished outfit look nice while saving money on labor. Miss Lin's workshop has many times the output of traditional tailoring, which can only complete a few sets of LEI per day. If we continue to sell by hand, the ends and uncles who sell this traditional outyai are getting older. It will be lost gradually, so we decided to stop making it in this day. How can outyai retain the same traditional characteristic while being mass produced? Miss Lin Garment Factory also employs more than 15 women. Outside of factory hours, women can take items home to make the supplement their incomes and that of their families. That I have been making at the factory for several years. I am also a follower of the Gautai religion and am very passionate about it. So I like this profession. Working here has a stable income and flexible hours to take care of the family. On rich festival days, many Gaudai followers from all provinces and cities in the country come to attend the ceremony in Tenin, and they also go to places that sell religious uniforms to get new, beautiful clothes to serve the customers.
Today I went to Somlin Ao Yai to buy an Ao Yai to attend the festival. The Ao Yai is very discreet and formal for me to attend the ceremony. Nowadays I buy easy, convenient and prettier. Instead of ordering them, it takes a long time, about one to two months to get them, but they don't come out to my satisfaction. Ao Yai is suitable for the Gaudai religion, so when I go to worship, it is very discreet, very beautiful. Ms. Lamlin's reservation and development of the profession of tailoring religious custom in a modern and professional direction has been contributing to continuing the traditional profession of tailoring religious custom serving religious people everywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all for today's TV news. Thank you for watching and see you next time.